Hello everyone, welcome to Code Debug. So today let's try to solve contains duplicate lead code problem 217. So this is uh, originally part of the blind 75 question list. So let's quickly solve them. Before we get into the solution, let's understand what the problem statement is. We are given an array of length n and an index of n minus 1. So what we need to do is to find out if any of the elements of the array repeats at least once. As in this case, if you can see, uh, in the array, the number 1 is repeated twice. Let's also consider another example which is given as part of the description. So we have an array which has four elements and if you see, neither of the elements are repeating. One does not exist twice, neither is two, neither is three, neither is four. And in this case, we just need to return false because there are no elements in the array which are repeating. Now let's look at how we are going to solve this problem. So we are going to use the hash set here. And the reason why we would be using a hash set is because any search or read operation within a hash set is going to have a time complexity of O of 1. Which means that if you try to find out if a hash set contains a, a value, let's say for example 3, and the time complexity required to find that value is constant time. Now let's go back to the previous example and use hash set to solve this problem. So basically we would need a, a loop which runs from 0 till the final index of the array. We also need a hash set which would initially be empty. Keep in mind the image is just for representation. So when we are at the first iteration, the value of the array would be 1. We basically check if the hash set contains 1. If not, we we'll just add it to the hash set. Now we move on to the next iteration which would bring us to i equal to 1 and the value would be 2 for this specific index. So as before, we check inside the hash set if the specific value is present. Since in this case it is not, we add it to the hash set. And we move on to the next iteration where the index would be 2 and the value would be 3. We perform the same check and since it's not present, we keep adding it to the hash set. And we reach the final index which is 4. Here in this case, the value is actually 1 and this is a number that was already added to the hash set previously in iteration 0. And when we check inside the hash set if that number is present, we are going to get a true because this was already added as part of the first iteration. And we just have to break the loop and return true because that specific value is actually a duplicate. Let's take a peek at the second example which is given as part of the lead code description. Here the array is of length n which is 4 and it has a total index of n minus 1 which is 3. So as the previous example we would be looping through uh, 0 till 3 and adding it to the hash set. So during the first iteration our value would be 1 and we would be checking if that hash set has a value of 1 since it's empty initially we would be adding it. Moving on to the next iteration, our value would be 2. We would again perform a check and then add it. We would go to the next iteration, which is the second index or the third iteration, and the value would be 3. Since there is no value in the hash set of value 3, we add it. And we reach the final index uh, of the array, with, in which case it is i equal to 3, and the value here would be 4. And we would be adding it to the hash set as well, since 4 is not part of the hash set. In this case, the check inside the hash set would always return false and the loop eventually would exit. Now let's implement this. So the first thing which we need to create is create the hash set. And let's name it as hash values. And basically as discussed earlier, we would be running a loop for all the indexes of the array. And we can use a for each here. And uh, for every iteration, we would be checking inside the hash set if that value is already present. If during any of the iteration we find a, a value which was already added to the hash set, we just break the loop and return true because we already found a, a duplicate value. 
or else we keep adding uh, to the hash set. And eventually once the loop runs out, we just return false because we were not able to find any value which was a duplicate inside the hash set. And that should be done. So let's just uh, do a test run. Yep, it works and let's submit it. All right, have fun.